feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world die? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement, the top is so vacant I don't hear shit that I think is amazing Waiting for my day when I'm playing Sold out shows for a thousand faces Hey, give me that crown Get in my way and to be put down It ain't your place, all this my town If I want that shit Hey Trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXT Track Time. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Trackies, let's see Little Bogo strikes again. This time around, he strikes in the 400 meters, running a personal best of 44.29 seconds. Trackies, let's see Little Bogo said he was waiting for the outdoor season and it has begun and he has started it off with a bang another bang up race 44.29 seconds now this comes on the back of his 300 meter world record or world best running at 30.69 seconds so he backs it up with a fantastic 400 meter run 44.29 seconds and let's not forget truckies when we talk about personal bests especially into previous years because he hasn't touched his pet events just yet but in previous years we're talking about last year a 19.50 in terms of his actual actual 200 meter personal best then of course his 19.88 as well or his 9.88 as well in the 100 meters last year and prior to that he does still hold the world under 20 record which is 9.91 seconds so when i said that let's see little bogo is literally having a coming of age moment and this season is going to be a phenomenal year for him listen i did not stutter Make no mistakes about it. Let's see Little Bogo is going to have a fantastic year this season. And I can't wait. Well, I will wait because I like to see when the athlete starts with these longer distances and then take their time to get down to the sprint um, or the shorter events and when they start to work on, you know, some speed work. So even though I'm dying to see him, you know, touch the one, touch the two, I'll still wait though. But I'm excited to say the least what he'll be able to do in that 200 meters and the 100 meters and specifically i keep talking about it specifically that 200 meters that 19.5 is going to go plus also when we talk about it becoming a consistent athlete in these lower realms in the 19s he's going to be much better at it because even though he ran this 19.5 last year he wasn't able to replicate this at the world championships but you know that goes with the territory as the athletes get stronger then they'll be able to you know run more consistently with these fast times so that's what i'm pretty much expecting this year as, as well not only you know the super fast times over the two and of course the 100 meters Meters. I don't think his 100 meters will go as as crazy as I think his 200 meters will, but it will still be better in my opinion. But with that said, with this you know additional strength in my opinion, he will be able to navigate running consistently the 195s, 194s, 193s, and you know maybe if he gets you know further than that, you never know, right? So with that said excellent excellent running from let's see little bogo and i'm excited to see what he'll be able to do for the rest of the season but also i want to touch on something somebody said to me as well in the chat or in the comments one time they said you know let's see little bogo will probably be a better 400 meter athlete and i won't lie based on how he executed that 400 meter run he looked so easy so good so relaxed in that 400 meters I'm like, all right, <laughs> you know, if it is that you ever want to, you know, switch distances in the future, then it's there for you. It's definitely there for him. It's definitely waiting for him to come in there and, you know, make it his own. Now, clearly, you know, you're not going to really see an athlete move up from the one slash two to the four when they're doing so well in the shorter distances because those are the blue ribbon events the 100 meters is the blue ribbon event so nobody's going to leave that and go anywhere else in my opinion but still he's still a phenomenal athlete there and also 
I'm looking at it from another perspective as well, because Botswana, a lot of these, you know, countries, I'm watching them in terms of their relay squad. And if Botswana can put together a really good four by four or even a four by one at this point, but I'm really looking at the four by four. If Botswana can put together a really good four by four, they will be a solid team as well heading into the Olympic Games. And make no mistakes about it. As long as, as far as I'm concerned, as long as Let's See Little Bogo is at that championship, Championships, I don't see him turning down the opportunity to run on a relay leg for his country, especially if it seems as though that team is so good that they could get a medal. Of course, I'll definitely see him, you know, get in there. So he could potentially walk away with three medals from the um, Olympic Games come outdoors. So that's exciting, an exciting prospect to look forward to as well. So with that said, track is let's see Little Bogo signals his warning or he sends out a signal to let the world know that I am here and I'm present especially towards all of those other athletes you know that are hyping themselves up for the win in the 100 meters and the 200 meters we did see you know a few Jamaicans over the weekend come out and do personal best as well not a, quite as impressive as let's see little Boko. so with that said track is let's see little Boko has sent his warning he's letting everybody know that he's coming for double gold will he be able to experience a Usain you know bolt moment in 2024 similar to what Usain Bolt experienced in, in 2008. Remember, Usain Bolt went from being the silver medalist in 2007 to walking away with double gold, well, triple if they didn't take away one of those goals in 2008, right? And with that said, with me believing that this is his moment to shine, this is literally his coming of age ceremony as far as I'm concerned, the world is just going to be watching him, you know, blossom into a phenomenal athlete. It's looking like, let's see, Little Boga could definitely go there and, you know, stamp his class and walk away with at least one goal for now. I'm looking at that 200 meters. As far as I'm concerned, he looks the stronger prospect, better than Noah Lyles, based on what I'm seeing so far. Don't, don't get me wrong. We saw Noah Lyles over the 60 and yes, you know, the prospect as it relates to how you know potentially better he could be especially in executing the first segment of his race could be that much better but i won't lie you can't you know better a world record in the 300 meters plus also a new personal best in the 400 meters you know let's see little boga is literally right there in that 200 meters and if noah Laz doesn't watch it if he doesn't watch it he's gonna slip and the person that's gonna you know slide into that gold is let's see little bogo that's how it is looking to me it might sound ridiculous track is but this young man is a huge huge threat and the bigger of the threats uh, as far as i'm concerned is the 200 meters right now but yeah let me know your thoughts now in the comment section below so let's see little bogo runs another personal best 44.29 in the 400 meters on the back of his 30.69 world record in the 300 meters plus all those world record bests in terms of the under 20 we see him over there in the 100 meters and the 200 meters still doing phenomenal from last season he's definitely carried that momentum in to 2024 let me know your thoughts what do you think the skies are the limit or the sky is the limit for um let's see little boga right now sound off like the video of course and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one bye